Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to autoplay on your YouTube videos and your Vimeo videos onto a website. Now, back in 2017 or 18, somewhere around there, Google Chrome decided that they were going to, they've obviously had a lot of complaints, and they decided to stop autoplay. Now, I remember doing some research back then and being able to go into the back end of Chrome and re-enabling the autoplay on my site, or at least on my Chrome. And with that, it fixed the problem. But in November 2019, they completely cut that off altogether. You couldn't even get into that part anymore where you could just go to a particular website and then fix it up through that. Now Chrome has got two conditions for you to be able to do autoplay on your website. One, it has to make sure that you mute your video first before you can before you're allowed to autoplay it. And number two is you need to have your play bar at the bottom of your video so people can turn the volume back up when they play the video and without those you can't really have autoplay so if you were to have autoplay without the play bar your video your viewers won't be able to hear the video even if they just press play what will happen is it will still play muted so what you need to do is make sure you have the play bar there or at least the ability to put a volume button there so as you can play so you can have the volume increased now if you don't have the ability to increase the volume then you're going to lose the opportunity for the person who's watching the video to be able to play your to be able to play the video you've just created so with that being said and done if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. You know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So let's go and actually show you how we go about doing that. And I'll also leave, because we need to have a couple of snippets of code that we're going to be needing to put into the embed code. Now for both Vimeo and YouTube, they're different. So for both of them, I will leave the codes in the description down below. Please make sure you check it out, but let continue watching through the video so as you know where to put the link when you create the, when you, when you autoplay. So, okay, let's head on over and have a look at it now. All right, now in this part of the video, we're going to be having a look at one of my YouTube videos. It doesn't really matter which one I grab. I might just grab this one here. And I don't need to listen to it. I've seen it heaps of times. Now, all I'm doing now is just going to grab the, go to the share section. Click on there. Wait for it to wake up. And in just a minute, once it wakes up, I'm going to be grabbing the embed code. It's pretty easy to do. Because I'm recording a video, things always tend to work a bit slower on the computer when you're recording. So bear with it for a moment, it shouldn't take too much longer. Otherwise, I might have to pause the video and wait for it to do its thing. There we are, I didn't have to pause it. Okay, I'm just gonna click on that, and all we have to do is hit copy, and there it is, it's copied. Now click off that. Now with that in mind, I'm going to go here to this particular one. Now I've already got a code, as you can see, question mark autoplay equals one and the end symbol mute equals one. Now that is the code we're going to need to put into where we're going to be doing our autoplay, into the embed code. We're just going to go control V and straight after where it says HTTPS YouTube dot and, and you go here where it says AI I mean it'll be a different number or letter for you but what we need to do is grab this snippet of code I'm going to highlight that right click hit copy or you can just go control C whichever way you want 
And in between the A and the quotation mark, I'm going to go Control V. Now that has completely made that watchable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control C or copy. I'm just going to hit copy. And I'm going to go over here to my site. Now, make sure that when you're in your site, especially if you're doing um, WordPress, that you use the text section. Now, I've added some X's where I want to put the code. Now, this particular area here, I'm now going to go to there. And I have, of course, I've centralized it. I have put the video, I'm going to be putting the video right about there, in between these marks where all the X's are. Now I'm going to go Control V, and then I'm going to go to Visual, and as you can see, it is muted, but it is also auto playing. Now let's scroll, let's update this. Wait for it to do its thing, and once it's finished updating we will view the site. I'm going to right click and put it in a new tab so we can see it. And we'll scroll down and there it is right there. Now unfortunately because Google Chrome insists on making sure your videos are muted, they, they you have no other choice but to do it this way. That or create an animated GIF and play that on your screen and make that clickable. A lot more complicated than what I'm doing here. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's now playing. I'm going to delete that. Now to do it from Vimeo, it is a slightly different code. Allow me to show you what I'm talking about. This one here is question mark autoplay equals one, and this one it says and loop equals one and auto pause equals zero and muted equals one now this one needs to go into the embed code for a video from vimeo now i'm going to choose this particular one here and over here on the left hand side once it comes up you'll see where it says embed i'm going to click on that and i'm going to hit the embed code section just there and i'm going to grab this code right here I'm just going to go copy. In fact, I don't even have to grab it. I can just copy it. Same as YouTube. Now, I'm going to go back to my my uh, text document just here. And I'm going to go directly underneath that. Go my, my, make myself one more line. And go Control V. Now, I'm going to grab this code right here. Make sure I copy the entire thing. And at the end of this number just here, and in between the number and the quotation mark, I'm going to go Control V and paste that in there. Now, of course, I'm now going to copy this, go Control C or right click and copy. And I'm going to go back to my website. Now, I'm going to go back to the text section. And you remember in where I have the X's, I had two lines of X's. So here's the other X's just here. I'm now going to highlight over the top of that and I'm going to be pasting my X where it was where the X's were. Now I'm going to go to visual and in just a moment you can see it is muted. For you to be able to watch that unmuted you just have to hit the volume bar and allow the to be able to have be able to play it. Now let's update this and we will view this post. I'm going to right click into a new tab once it's finished up once it's finished thinking. There we are. I'm now going to go to view post in a new tab. Because it's all, I've published it, it'll come up with the correct website address. And there's the first video autoplaying in the background. And here is the second video autoplaying in the background. It's just muted. So doing it this way, you can have your videos autoplay when you want. If, say, for example, you have a sales video that you'd like to play, and what you want to do is you want to have the have it view, people will be able to view it. You can then do that, or you can put like a little bit of writing above the page and have it say something like, it can actually say something like, please click the video to uh, unmute, or 
something like that. We can take the video back to the beginning, unmute it from the beginning, and there you have it. I'm going to mute that, and it is ready to go. Okay, it's as simple as all that. And guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Guys, please leave a comment down below and give us your thoughts on what we've just done. Okay guys, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.